now a little bit more about the organization of the course. Um, you'll see in Blackboard that the course is organized into eight modules, and each module having its topic and a set of labs that goes with that topic. And an important tool for your success in going through uh, the course will be what we're calling here the BTC 181 course map. And it's kind of like a road map through those modules. They will kind of give you instructions on what you should do first and the order that you um, need to go and what the re you know, requirements are for that module. And I have here just kind of a generic general kind of outline of what the roadmap might look like for a given module, in this case, module one. And then there it'll tell you what the topic is, what's your objective, um, you know, what the subject is, what your objective for this module is, what's it about, what skills are gonna be in there. Um, then there'll be instructions for the module. How do you go through that module um, using these materials that follow here? And I have it here as lecture content and laboratory material. And once again, the lecture content is not just so much lecture, it are, it's these accumulation of videos, animations, and materials that you're going to use to um, learn the uh, lecture content. You'll see we have here primary materials, and these are the kind of the, the foundation materials, the one that you're um, um, you know, going to have to do. Those will, those will be the materials that um, present information. In some uh, modules, maybe not all, there may be supplemental materials. Those would be maybe some web links from some sample problems that we do on SmartBoard or whatnot. If beyond just the primary materials, you feel like you need some help or you'd like to go beyond, um, you know, what's just in the primary materials. Um, and, um, you know, there may be, like I say, in the primary, there may be problem sets. Um, um, you know, there may be work that you'll do and turn in for a grade or maybe not for a grade. That'll be up to the individual instructor, um, but that might be uh, in order to get feedback, whether or not you're understanding uh, how this works. And then we have laboratory material. Here in this example, uh, I've shown two labs, say if the eight modules were two weeks per module, you'd have two labs for that module. Um, and for each one, there's a pre-lab instructions, right? So that you'll know you'll be prepared to come to the lab and do the lab before you get there. Uh, as I've indicated before, you know, there may be something that you have to turn in or a ticket or some way to validate that you've prepared for the lab before you get there. And then there should also be some lab procedures that you're reading as to what you're gonna do when you get there as part of your um, preparation.